All right, here's the close-up. Um, I'm going to try to go over everything fairly quickly here. Back the camera up just a little bit. So what we've got going on here, we're going to start with the drive system here. We've got 120 volt to 24 volts AC transformer. Um, this is 40 volt amp, um, if any of you care at all. Uh, about a 30 watt is what it draws or what it's capable of max. Um, running to a 24 volt AC relay um, with 120 volt contacts. Um, for my switch for the time being I am actually using a, a magnetic reed switch that goes on a uh, on a door and uh, you can see the contacts arcing in there when it when it opens um, this runs 120 volts through it to the primary coil of my main transformer um, my secondary coil is 9 wraps of 10 gauge gives me exactly 9.75 volts output and uh, I'm getting 9.74 at the coils of my RDA through uh, about three and a half feet of uh, lead wire running out of the secondary coil so uh, very powerful um, effectively no voltage drop which is uh, I would say it's due in a large part to the fact that uh, it's AC voltage and not DC um, but this is uh, pretty much the setup the only thing left is the uh, rheostat which I can't install until I actually get a housing set up for this um, which hopefully will be done tomorrow right now I've got the uh, main transformer connected to its own 120 volt power source and the uh, 24 volt transformer connected to its own 120 volt power source um, I could have gone with an actual 120 volt um, relay that was designed for 120 volts at the uh, coil itself um, the contacts are rated for 120 volts but um, <clears throat> I salvaged both the relay and the transformer out of an old uh, Oh, what was it? Central heat and air unit that uh, we had laying out back behind the shop. So that's pretty much it. Um, that is the entire system. Um, it was asked in uh, the video yesterday if you if the transformer hums. Well, here's your answer. It absolutely does. And if you get a piece of metal next to it. I'm um, not going to use my regular screwdriver because I don't want to magnetize it. I had a pair of pliers laying up here just for that purpose. Oh, here they are. Well, they were vibrating really good. There it goes. So, uh, I would say it's a tremendous success. Okay. <clears throat> so. Uh, whew, I need a drink. Obviously, the e-sig wasn't firing at that point because uh, it was not plugged in which is wonderful um, considering that if I had hardwired it um, I would not I would have to disconnect my atomizer every time I wanted to uh, play around with this thing at all how do you like my mod stand oh this thing's awesome oh I just can't get over how powerful it is. Ugh. 
Okay. So. This thing works incredibly well. Um, my total cost on this was about 10 bucks. Um, I got very lucky being able to uh, source this stuff and um, working in a place where it's easily accessible. And of course, all the vapor's gonna jack up the video now. That is actually a huge challenge when you are uh, recording for stuff like this. Um, I don't think about it a lot of times, but um, going back and looking at the videos sometimes, I'll have to scrap a video and restart because the camera completely loses focus. I'm really hoping it doesn't here. Um, so I have enabled um, fan funding on the YouTube channel now. Um, I got looking through everything, just I pulled out the laptop, which I almost never do. And uh, was looking through everything and figured out that I am uh, eligible for fan funding. So I turned it on. I figured, what the hell. Um, if you guys want to throw a couple bucks towards the channel to uh, improve the quality of the videos. And uh, give me the ability to get a little better camera equipment and such. Awesome. Good on you. You're, uh, you're a rare breed. If not, okay. I don't really care. <laughs> um... I don't think any less of you. I, I really couldn't care less. Um, I've gone this long without it. Not like it's going to bother me. Um, I love that. Uh, it does allow for the opportunity um, to be able to put more uh, more time into it and uh, potentially eventually get a decent camera where I can actually do some good quality footage and uh, knowing that it's there give, will give me an incentive hopefully to keep my work table clean and uh, get all this shit cleaned up out here to uh, set up a better recording studio. I am in the process of uh, getting a lot better lighting system out here. Um, it needs it regardless, but um, my excuse is that uh, I don't have good lighting for the videos. Oh. Um, it was suggested that I put a foot switch on this. So uh, once I get everything mounted and wired up the way I like it, I will put a 5mm uh, quick connect in place of this and um, I will build a foot switch for it. I think that is a fantastic idea. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but I am very grateful for the uh, suggestion in the first place. That is an awesome idea. Um, I cannot steal the foot switch off of my uh, high-speed Clapton rig. Um, it is a variable resistance foot switch, which means that I would have to depress it to a certain point before the relay would activate. And it actually does take a fair bit of effort to push the switch. Um, I'd rather just make one with a straight ka -chunk, ka -chunk. Um, The rheostat will get hooked up when everything's done. Um, I'm going to take all this to work with me tomorrow and start working on it when I can. When it's all said and done, and I get everything functional, um, I am going to do a direct comparison. I will set this to the exact same voltage as my Lysimo with my TFB4, and um, we will actually test the TFB4 with both systems. Um, I really want to see what the difference is, if there is any, between AC and DC voltage. Um, I can't imagine that there would be, because it's just an inductive heating element, but at the same time, it very well could. Um, I don't know. That was the main reason that I did this in the first place. Um, but there it is. It's finished. It works great. Um, I've had zero issues. Uh, the only issue with using the uh, magnetic reach switch like this to turn the relay on 
is if I don't get close enough, I won't do it now. Um, I had it a couple times where I didn't get the magnet for the reed switch uh, positioned properly, and uh, the relay just brrr, bounced on and off, scared the crap out of me first time it did it. This is awesome. This is awesome, you guys. Um, I did the math. At 9.75 volts, um, 1,200 watts, um, I should be able to pull 123 amps out of this um, at full power. Obviously, in the past, I have uh, made stupid high wattage mods. Um, this has the potential for that, but uh, it is completely unnecessary. Um, and of course, once I put the rheostat in place, it's not it's not going to be capable of running uh, 1,200 watts. I think that's it. I think I covered everything. Um, <clears throat> Let me know in the comments uh, what your thoughts are on the fan funding. It is not the same as Patreon. Um, you do not have to do anything with fan funding if you don't want to. Um, I may at some point, if enough people were interested in it and wanted to get involved in it, I would, I would be open to a Patreon. But um, I don't like the idea of having to pay... To view the content. Um, that's the whole point of YouTube is to be able to watch it for free. Um, it is entirely your choice whether you want to throw anything towards the channel or not. If you do, as I've said before, you're a wonderful person. I don't care what anybody says about you. You can rest assured that uh, it will go towards um, making better content for the channel in some form or fashion. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, from this point, there may not be a lot of videos coming out immediately. Um, I'm going to try to put a little bit of time into getting this done up real well, um, get it built really nicely and uh, get a really good functioning system for the switch mechanism on it and uh, gotta build me a new uh, PWM LiPo box as well I won't lose it that way so uh, I'm gonna try really hard um, once I get this finished to start doing weekly videos. It's going to be difficult considering that um, I don't have every, anything new on a weekly basis. Um, that would require a massive amount of time on my part. Um, if you guys have a specific project, a specific mod, or anything electrical crazy that you want to see, um, let me know. Comment down below and tell me what you think. Um, if you want to see some kind of badass charging system or whatever. Ugh. This is purely for my enjoyment. But um, if you guys don't enjoy watching it, there's no point in me wasting my time trying to uh, show you guys, right? Kind of, maybe? Not sure. Um, I had something else I was going to talk about. I've mentioned it before. I have a whiteboard that I am going to set up and start um, setting up notes so that when it comes time for me to do a video, I can actually discuss this stuff properly and uh, not be sitting here in silence for a couple minutes. Um, also, once I get a decent um, camera set up, 
Um, I am going to try to start doing a little more video editing um, simply because of the fact that I sit here like this. Um, I like the videos where people do that, but at the same time, that's a lot of wasted viewing time. That's time out of your life that you're sitting here watching me trying to figure out what I'm saying. I can put all relevant information on a whiteboard and uh, tell you as I go, oh, I set this out so I wouldn't forget. Um, this is a full wave bridge rectifier, um, 12 amp max. I'm going to set this up along with this system um, with a 24 volt it'll actually be a 22 and a quarter after a voltage drop through the full wave bridge rectifier to run my 100 watt buck converter that I built for the or that I got for the uh, bug out bag um, that will give me a really good charging system I can set up to run uh, to charge my batteries off of that don't require being balanced Specifically, my big 18,000 milliamp hour 18650 battery packs, which uh, take multiple charge cycles off of my current LiPo charger. So that will be something that is incorporated as well. Um, I haven't figured out how I'm going to do that yet. There will be more than enough room to add that after the fact without any major issues. Um, right now, the 120 volt, 24 volt, Two twenty-four volt um, transformer is just sitting here running. Um, it's on all the time. All I'm using it for is activating the relay. It's designed to run non-stop twenty-four-seven. It did for I don't know the central heat and air unit that I pulled it out of was thirty years old. So I mean, gotta tell you something. There you have it. Uh, I think you guys listened to me talk long enough. I'm sure you're done with it by now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I really do. Um, as I said, any ideas, comments, suggestions, whatever, let me know. Um, Vape on, guys.